YouTube, it's Donovan, the smartphone guy, coming back at you with another video, and tonight we are going to take a look at a pair of bone conduction headphones from a, from a company called EYOYO. Now, I picked these up on Amazon for roughly about $40, and I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about these particular headphones, and then also about bone conduction headphones kind of in general. So, first of all, I want to talk to you guys for a second about why I pick these up. So I am a runner. I'm also someone who likes to bike as well. And I pick these up because uh, specifically these don't go in your ear. And when you're running, when you're biking, it's nice to be able to hear what's going on around you. So with bone conduction headphones, they actually sit in front of your ear. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of pictures of what they look like. Okay, so now that you've seen what they look like, um, let's talk about how they work. So instead of actually sitting in your ears, like I said, they sit in front of your ears. Now these have a couple of, I'm thinking these are speakers that kind of come out and they also have them in the bottom as well. And so I believe that between the vibrations and these little speakers, um, that's how you hear the headphones. Now I will say this, I don't know if this is true of every bone conduction headphones or if it's just these but they're not particularly loud. Um, it's very strange, but you can hear all the conversations that are going around. You can hear basically everything that's happening around you, but you can also hear your music. So it's kind of nice. When I'm out running, I can listen to music and hear the cars that are coming up from behind me or whatever, or biking, same thing. So that's very, very nice. Um, kind of dangerous to be running with you know headphones in your ear and you can't hear anything especially if you're running in you know a crowded city or whatever um, so with these particular headphones let me just talk to you for a moment we'll just take a look around them so first of all this is the play button also the pause button uh, it charges using micro usb so that's down here i can it just opens that little flap so these are water resistant as well uh, this is the oh what is that button that is the power on button. And then we have the volume up and down and this also doubles as the track forward and backward. Um, now it does also have a microphone. Uh, I did use it one time for a phone call and the phone calls were okay. The person could hear me pretty well. I could hear them pretty well. Now, with that being said, I have owned these for all of two days. So two days that I've used these, I've gone for a run with them one time in those two days and on the second day when I went to go use these uh, the left headphone was already not working so these run roughly around 50 40 50 dollars on Amazon and so for something that you pay 40 or 50 dollars for you would expect them to last a little longer than two days. So needless to say, these are heading back. So I don't want to speak for all bone conduction headphones. I love the idea, and I'm sure there are better ones out there. But I definitely don't recommend these. And, you know, I haven't heard back from the company yet. But, you know, of course, Amazon is amazing, and you can return anything. Um, so within 30 days, uh, so awesome. They're going to get returned. Uh, hopefully I can find a better pair and maybe I'll, I'll try another pair out and talk to you guys about those. But for these particular ones, I definitely for now cannot recommend these. Now I do want to talk for just a moment about what it's like to wear these. So something that's very interesting at low volumes, when you have your, your music pretty low, you don't really notice anything different. It's nice. They're very comfortable to wear. Uh, you hardly even notice that you have headphones. They're very, very light. You hardly can tell that they're even on. However, uh, when you turn the volume up, and especially if it's a bass, like a heavy bass song, uh, you, you feel vibrations for sure. It's almost like it's, uh, the only way I can kind of describe it is like it's tickling your ear. It, it feels kind of weird. Well, not really tickling your ear because they're not actually sitting in your ear but this just the little piece in front of your ear. You could feel it kind of like a sensation. It's, it's vibrating and it kind of tickles just a little bit. It's a little weird, um, but it is, you know, it, it's not bad. If these would have worked, I probably could get used to it. Really not a big deal um, because I like the idea that I can uh, run and, and hear everything that's going on around me and listen to my music at the same time. However, uh, the fact that they quit working after, what, a day? Um, 
definitely makes it so that I, I don't, I will never try these again. Um, but I might try some maybe more expensive ones, uh, and test those out for you guys to let you know what I think. So let me know what you guys think. Are you interested in some bone conduction headphones? Are you active? Do you have an active lifestyle? And maybe these would fit that active lifestyle. Um, that's why I pick them up. Um, but I certainly can't recommend these and hopefully I will find a better pair. But for now, uh, these are the ones I had and I don't like them. So anyways, with that being said, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great night.